Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with DevCentral. We're coming to you with another Lightboard lesson video today. And today we're going to talk about an integrated solution that F5 has with a company called FireEye. And what FireEye does, many of you may already know about FireEye, but what FireEye does is they inspect internet traffic and they can tell you if it's malicious or not. And uh, man, they do a great job of it. And so, um, so what we're going to talk about today is how we can take the F5 Big IP and, uh, and the, the Big IP does, thing, does a lot of things really, really well. Um, but, and then FireEye does their inspection really, really well. So we can, we can let the Big IP you know, accept that initial traffic, send it off to FireEye, let the FireEye do what it does you know, a great job of, and then send it back down to your backend web servers. So that's kind of the overall uh, thought of what we're going to talk about today. Um, the actual implementation of it we'll get into. And to start off, uh, I'll just draw a picture of maybe you've got a client out here in the internet somewhere uh, that wants to request, you know, your backend web servers right here. And I'll just, I'll draw, say, a bank of, you know, web servers. And, uh, and so as that, as that request comes in, as that traffic starts to flow, um, a lot of times these backend web servers are, uh, you know, use uh, encryption. And so I'll put HTTPS right here. And maybe I'll put a little lock on this right here. Okay, so what happens is most websites today, or a, a ton of websites today, use HTTPS encryption. And so as, as this uh, request comes in, it's encrypted, you can't see it. So how in the world are you going to know if it's malware or malicious or good traffic or whatever? And the answer is you won't know unless you inspect it. And so, uh, so anyway, so that's where, that's where you put a big IP in place, and then, uh, then you can start to do some of these things. And so, um, so to draw out kind of one, one solution, as it were, with, uh, with how you can manage all this uh, issue, is if you have a client out here that requests your backend web server over here, what we're gonna do is put in line a, uh, a big IP. So I'll put big IP. And all of this, and I'm using the uh, kind of the red sort of uh, uh, color here. This right here is all encrypted traffic. So the client to the big IP is all encrypted. And so the TLS handshake happens here. They do all the cipher exchange. They do all that stuff. Uh, and that's a complete you know, um, uh, session right there. But then the big IP is going to decrypt. And so I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get the green marker out here. And the big IP is going to decrypt this and send it over to, uh, I'll put fire eye right here, fire eye. And then this is going to be, this may be more than one FireEye, by the way, so I may do something like this. You know, there may be a pool of FireEye uh, devices uh, that you want to use. The FireEye can now take the decrypted traffic, take a look at it, do what it does really well, and then send it on. Once it's all done, here's, uh, I'll put all this, maybe there's several of them, they're looking at this. And so the aggregation of this comes out to another uh, big IP. And I'm going to use the red again, because what we're going to do is we're going to say, big IP over here, and the big IP is going to re-encrypt this and send it back to the back-end web servers back here. So you got all that going on. All right, so, so you've, got the, you've got the client coming in, encrypted to the big IP, the decryption happens, goes to the FireEye, it does all of its inspection, uh, and then it comes back to another big IP, re-encrypts, and back to your back-end web servers. And so, uh, so then the FireEye can know, hey, this is good traffic or bad or whatever. Um, and that, that is what we would call a two big IP solution uh, with the FireEye in line like that. Um, if you only want to use one big IP, you can also do that. I'll draw maybe a quick little, uh, quick little picture of it over here. So client comes into, you know, big IP, um, that's a B right there, big IP. And then the FireEye is going to sit uh, in line down here. So it's, the big IP is going to decrypt the traffic again. So I'll put fire. FireEye down here. And so the decryption happens, the traffic is sent down to the FireEye, and then the FireEye does what it does, it sends it back up to the big IP, and then the big IP re-encrypts, and then back on out to the web server. So a very similar type situation. Um, a couple of things that are kind of cool about the big IP being able to do this is, um, is that the big IP knows, because, because the FireEye is in line here, or maybe not even in line, the big, I, the big IP knows the status of the FireEye servers, and so if, uh, let's say you have a pool of FireEye devices, then the big IP is going to know if one of these is like really bogged down at the time or is maybe offline for some reason. It's got the, the big IP has the intelligence to know which one is available and which one's not. 
and so it can load, it can it can uh, intelligently load balance to the uh, to the different FireEye devices as needed. And so another thing that happens that's really cool on the Big IP as traffic comes into the Big IP before it even gets to the FireEye is uh, I'll put this uh, I'll put I'll put the word down here I'll put filtering, and this is a pretty cool concept. And so as traffic comes in to the Big IP, the Big IP the Big IP can filter that traffic and can say, hey, we've got maybe URL filtering, for example. And so for traffic that is known good traffic, we can let it bypass the FireEye. And so, uh, so as it hits that filter on the Big IP, the known good traffic can say, come, let's say that you see, say you got some known good traffic comes to the Big IP, and then it can bypass the FireEye, come over here, because there's no reason to let the FireEye look at it because you know it's good. That also takes the load off the FireEye, where the FireEye can only you know, the fire eye is only looking at the stuff that it really needs to look at, and it's, it's just a more efficient process. What happens in this case, by the way, is the known good traffic bypasses the fire eye, the filtered, the filtered known good traffic bypasses the fire eye. The big IP has the intelligence to then aggregate the traffic that comes out of the fire eye uh, and, and puts it all back together because remember, ultimately, these web servers are like, hey, I just want the HTTP request that you're sending me. Um, and so it, re, it aggregates all that traffic, puts it all back together the way it needs to be before it sends it back to the back end web servers. And so that's a pretty cool thing. So, it's, uh, so it allows the FireEye, you know, that efficiency. Another, another cool thing about offloading traffic to the big IP um, and not just sending it, say, straight to the FireEye is that the FireEye is a, is a layer two kind of a passive device and it doesn't typically scale really well in terms of traffic load balancing and that kind of thing. And so with this kind of solution, you can really scale out the FireEye. You can put a whole bunch of these in line and let them really start chunking through, uh, and then the big IP is going to do what it needs to do to allow that scalability to happen with the, uh, with the FireEye. Another quick thing I'll mention is that uh, typically HTTPS traffic uh, flows on port 443, but a lot of times that is not the case. There's a lot of HTTPS traffic that, that uh, is sent on non what we'll call non-standard ports, and so Rather than, uh, rather than just say, hey, we're going to only look at port 443 traffic, the big IP has the intelligence enough to be able to detect, hey, this is, not, this is still HTTPS traffic, but it's on a non-standard port. So it's, uh, it's not just a, a simple, hey, we're only going to look at this port, and we're only going to filter all this stuff on this one port. It's, it's able to look beyond that. It does uh, some, some traffic signaling and some other things that it can, uh, that it can do to, to really give you a, a good, comprehensive, secure solution. And so, uh, so anyway, so this is, uh, this is kind of the overall idea of traffic comes into the big IP, we offload it to a FireEye or, or it's the, kind of this air gap solution. In fact, frankly, this, uh, this two big IP solution is similar to what uh, Jason Rom did in another Lightboard lesson video. It was a fantastic video, so make sure you get out there and look at that. We may even link it here to this one. Uh, but he talked about some of the details of, a, of an air, just an, a, a generic air gap solution. In this case, we're looking at the FireEye device specifically. So, uh, so anyway, so hopefully, hopefully this has helped a little bit. Hopefully this uh, helps keep you, keep you secure out there, helps keep the malware off of your back-end web servers because we want these guys to be secure and we want them to serve up all that traffic that, uh, that everybody wants to see, right? So, so thanks for watching this Lightboard lesson video, and we will see you guys out there in the community.